You're never going to be able to change your past. You're never going to be able to change uh, who your parents were. You're never going to be able to change the natural gifts that you were given by God or the ones you don't have. There are a lot of things in your life you can't change. If you have a certain handicap or you have a certain, you lose a, a loved one, you can't change that. You've lost that loved one. A lot of things in life you cannot change. And the only way to overcome some things in life is to simply accept them. Accept them. This is the principle of submission. This is the principle of surrender. This is the principle of acceptance. Peace comes when I accept the things in my life that cannot be changed. If I keep fighting about them the rest of my life and keep saying to God, it's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair, you're just going to make yourself miserable. I must accept the things that cannot be changed. Faith is facing the facts without being discouraged by them. Yeah, it's bad, but I'm not going to be discouraged by it. But while I accept the things that can't be changed, I do change the things that can be changed. Okay, what can be changed? Your life has fallen apart. Somebody's walked out of your life. Somebody's died. You've lost your job. You're not getting it back. What? Those can't be changed. What can you change? I'll tell you what you can change. You. You can change you. You cannot change anybody else, so quit trying to change them. You can't change your husband, you can't change your wife, you can't change your boss, you can't change anybody. The only person you can change is you. So you start working on you. What can I change in me? How can I be better, not bitter, as my world has fallen apart? Now this is gonna require some honest, gut level self-evaluation. And you're gonna need to do a an inventory of your life. You're gonna to need to do a relational inventory. Say, how is my relationship to God? An honest evaluation. How is my relationship to my husband, to my wife? How is my relationship to my kids? How is my relationship to my coworkers at work? You do an, a, a relational inventory. You do a moral inventory. What are the habits and the hurts and the hangups that are messing up my life? What are the sins, the persistent things that keep bringing me down? You do a moral inventory. You do an honest evaluation of your life so you can change the things that can be changed.